Hey guys, this is Natash, and we're here with some more typical games with these new decks. Gonna go right down the line. Let's do a couple of games with the Xanatos deck. If you guys remember, the Xanatos deck is based around the choose one effects. Basically, the plan is no matter what I draw, it's something that's useful. Sometimes it doesn't quite work that way, but usually it's pretty good about it. Alright, so looking at this, I actually don't want this right now. You know, that one's a bit of a late game play, which I just drew again. God damn it. But it's a bit of a late game play that doesn't actually affect the flow of the game. Like, it requires that I already have a bunch of plays. And if I don't, then it doesn't really help. Okay. So I use that, and I'm gonna make the saplings, just because I don't have much of a field presence. So. Right there. I've got my shield. And those. And he just blew all of his mana for that turn, and half of his mana for next turn, trying to deal with it. Let's see. I would have done this if I still had my saplings, but now I'm just gonna summon the panther. Alright. What are you gonna do with half the mana? Okay. <coughs> really? Really? Okay. So, in this situation, I think I gotta go with charge. You know, I don't have anything that I'm necessarily defending against right now. And if that comes up, I have enough ways to deal with it. <laughs> really? I kinda... I gotta be honest, I sorta love the fact that... Here he is... Desperate for something... Why can I not play anything? Oh, that's why. No, I don't usually have connection issues. Okay, <sighs> seriously, Hearthstone? You know what? Here's the thing. When the disconnection has gone on this long, I've lost that turn, and I'm probably, like, if I get reconnected right now, I'm gonna be, like, most of the way through my next turn. This can't actually keep going. So, yeah, whatever. Well, fuck. God damn. So I tried for a while, and I wasn't able to actually get back into a game. Kinda really sucks, you know? Cause... I... Kinda wanted to have a bit more to show you guys. 
about how that deck runs. But looking at what was there, you could kind of see what I was going for. Basically, Hearthstone, there's always going to be a problem with RNG because it's a card game. And card games have that problem. So, by going with the druids, many choose one of these two abilities. I was basically manipulating the RNG so that it was more frequently in my favor as opposed to in the other players. You know, it's kind of hard for the RNG not to help you out when actually any result can help you. Like, if you looked in my hand before, you know, before everything fell apart, I had, I had Keeper of the Grove, which, you know, if they played something small, but you know, it could still kinda hold on and keep me from getting too far. Well, I could just do two damage to it and just take it out. If they played something that had a big heavy effect and that I couldn't really do anything about just yet, well, I could just silence it. If I needed to silence a couple of things, well, I had a Spellbreaker in my hand, too. And on the off chance that he played something particularly heavy, you know, I just play Soul of the Forest and replace my dead creatures with living creatures. You know, worked out. It works out pretty good. Because basically, it makes sure that while the RNG can mess with the other player, I'm going to be fine. Because, you know, it doesn't matter what I draw. Because whatever it is, I can use it. It works for me. Other player has to actually draw the right thing. And hope that I don't have an answer to it, which I probably do. So, anyway... Hopefully, Hearthstone servers get fixed up in time. Because I kind of want to do the other two decks, too. Till then, keep enjoying the videos, and subscribe to help the channel and see more.